this is Clark and Lori. You guys have been coming to this church a, a little over a year now. Is that right? First off, um, how how has uh, your what, how did your faith get started? Um, I grew up in a church. We always went to church every Sunday, practically went to Sunday school, had the Christmas program. So I grew up in it. Yeah, it's the same for me. I, I, as long, far back as I can remember, we went to church on Sundays. Uh, and the, the fo- it was non-negotiable. You know, we could say, well, Mark doesn't have to go. Well, Mark's not in our family. He, otherwise, he'd go. <laughs> so we, we always went to church. And same thing, church school and uh, sang in the youth choir and did all that stuff. And how did you guys find uh, Neighbors Church? We moved to Lincoln shortly before we started coming here, and we looked for churches. We uh, got online to see which churches might match up with us, and we drove around and looked at some of them. And then um, we decided to just start close to home. We'll go over here to Neighbors Church and try it out. And, mm-hmm. and so that's how we found Neighbors. Has you, has, would you say you, your faith has been, you, you, you mentioned about not wanting to go to church, but kind of having to go to church. I assume that we all go through that. Um, has your faith kind of been up and down a little bit? Or, I mean, are, are there times that you think that you've been awake? Sometimes you've been asleep, things like that, seeing God in your life? I, I, I think so. I think after I got out of the house and went to college and everything, that I didn't go to church as much. And when Lori and I were first married, we didn't go to church a lot, but we we usually find church um, in the towns where we lived, and um, so yeah, it, it kind of came and went. Mm-hmm. And how since you've been to neighbors, have you experienced any? Uh, has, how has, I guess how has this group of folks here? Uh, how has being here helped your your faith? I think just the friendliness and the outreach. Um, that's new to me, the outreach, getting involved outside the church. I think that's a big part for me. I think the other thing is it's a, it's a different atmosphere. It seems like you're getting together with friends for church service rather than going into the traditional church where you sit in the pew you've always sat in for years. And, <laughs> and you, you kind of hear the same sermon every week, you know, and, and that. So I think it's, it's more refreshing. Mm. And the message that you give. I mean, you walk out of here and go, I need to be better. I need to be better. <laughs> That's what I say when I leave, too. <laughs> How have you seen, there, there's so many times that I'm guilty of not seeing the, the, the wonderment and the beauty of, of God at work. Uh, and there's been times I'm, I've been guilty of not even seeing it in, in neighbors because I've been focused on too many other things. Uh, it's it's like I said when sometimes when I reflect back that I see oh that was that was really beautiful and and I, I I missed it. Are there things that are happening in this church now that uh, that you see God's presence, see God growing? I think the the sermons help a lot. You're you're you've got a good way of taking scripture and relating it to our lives and how how we can put it into practice. I think that's great. And then, um, like Lori said, I think outreach is a big part of it, too, and, and the things that members of this church are doing for the community. One of the things that I see, um, you guys always come early. Uh, you, you come uh, 15 to 20 minutes early, and you're always talking with people when, when they come in. And I've noticed people that are willing to sit next to you, uh, which is awesome. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to sit behind you, but they are willing to sit <laughs> next to you. But I think that, do you, do you feel that uh, the in-between service, do you, do you feel like the, the presence of God is here just when we're doing uh, the, the, the actual church thing, or do you feel it's, it's, it's around the, the three-minute break and the before church and all that stuff? Oh, I think he's always here. Always. I, yeah, anytime you need him, he's there. How do you guys bring God into your, your marriage then and, and, and encourage each other to, to, to continue to look for and witness God? 
<laughs> I think I think you learn to accept people for who they are and not be judgmental and and be supportive and loving and love yourself, love your neighbor, love God. I think that that applies in a marriage or any situation socially. Anything else you'd like to say? I don't think so. <laughs> well, we're, we're glad you started this and all these people that helped you. Yeah. We, we really appreciate it. Well, thank you guys.